pinned it, the heel flap flat. And then we turn the heel to make this cute little pocket so your heel can fit in nicely. So when you're knitting your heel flap, you want it to be across exactly half as many stitches as you have all the way around. So I am using 64 stitches all the way across. So just refer to your size to see your original um, cast on number and you're going to want to work it across half of those. And because I am doing a contrast heel, I'm actually going to cut my working yarn. So I'm literally just going to cut my working yarn and then I'm going to join in my contrast yarn the same as we did uh, here when we switch from contrast to main. Now we're going to go from main back to contrast. So for me, this is going to happen across 32 stitches. So I'm just going to um, knit straight across 32 stitches with my contrast color. I've knit all the way across in my contrast color and this particular heel flap what I'm doing is on the wrong side which is where we're starting because you have to turn it over knitting flat so on the wrong side the purl side facing we're gonna do a slip one purl one all the way across and then we're gonna turn it over and do slip one knit one all the way across and we're just gonna go back and forth back and forth with that for about two inches so you can measure this against your own heel as well to get the um the size exactly right but once you've done it a few times you kind of get a, a feel for you know what what size of heel flap you'd like so we're on the wrong side we're going to slip this first stitch and then purl the next one and then slip and then purl all the way to the end of the heel flap. So just repeat, slip, purl, slip, purl to the end. Okay, I got to the end and now I'm back right side facing. So I'm going to slip that first stitch again, but I'm gonna slip it as if I'm going to purl this stitch. So I come in from this side. So I'm gonna slip this and then turn my needle the other way to knit it. So slip purl wise and knit. Let's get in closer. So slip purl wise and then knit. Slip knit. Slip knit all the way to the end again. And then we'll just go back and forth and back and forth slip knit slip knit to the end turn around slip purl slip purl to the end turn around and keep going for about two inches measure it against remember that this part is the back of the heel so go as long as you'd like this part to be for me that's two inches maybe a little over two inches so i'm gonna go back and forth with this heel until i'm done knitting the heel flap and then i'll be back so i've got my heel flap done you want to end on a purl row so that you're about to start a knit row and then from here i'll just show you the first couple rows and then you can kind of see it going back and forth so we slip the first stitch let's come in closer slip the first stitch and then knit 16. so essentially you're going to this is for if you have 64 stitches so you're going to slip the first stitch and then knit half as many as there are on this needle which of course is 32 but refer to um, the size that you're using in the pattern for the exact number but it's going to be half so slip one and then for me i'm knitting 16. So now we're going to slip slip knit these next two stitches so slip slip and then knit these two stitches together and then we're going to knit one more stitch and then we're going to turn it around we're going to leave these stitches here unworked and just turn it. I know sometimes these stitches just kind of hanging here can trip people up. Just leave them. We're going to work them eventually. Don't worry, just leave them there. So now on the purl side, we're going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to purl three stitches, but refer to the size that you're knitting in the pattern to see how many you're purling. I'm purling three. One, two, then I'm going to purl the next two together. Sorry, I should be in closer here. 
I'm gonna purl the next two together, okay? And then purl one more. And now we're gonna leave all of these stitches and we're just going to turn the work again. So now what you're doing all the way until you get to the end, and I'll, I'll walk you through that. But now what we're doing when we go back and forth to turn this heel is we're going to knit until you get to the gap here, and then you're gonna knit this stitch and this stitch together. And then you're gonna knit one more and then turn it over, purl to the gap, etc. So I'll show you for a few rows to get the hang of it here. Going to, sorry, slip the first stitch always, and then you're gonna knit four, one, two, three, four. And then we have this gap here that we've created. And again, we're gonna slip this stitch, slip this stitch, and then knit them together. And then again, knit one more, and then turn it around. So slip the first one, and then you're gonna purl to one before the gap. So that's gonna be five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Eventually you don't even need to count them because you just knit to this gap, or purl to this gap, sorry, in this case, and then purl those two together. Purl one more, and then again, we're gonna turn it. So slip the first stitch, knit to one stitch before the gap, like knit to here, one stitch before the gap, knit the one before and after the gap together, knit one more and turn it. You can see that all laid out in the pattern. I did it row by row by row. So slip the first stitch, knit to one stitch before the gap. And it's always gonna be one more than the row before it. So we just purled five, which means we're gonna knit six. And that's just the size that I'm knitting. So here we are again, back to the gap. Knit those two together, sorry. Slip, slip, knit the two together. And then knit one more, turn, and now we're back on the purl side. So we're just gonna keep slipping and then knit or purling to one before the gap and then purl two together or slip, slip, knit two together. And then knit one more before you turn it over and over again should take 14 rows, the 14 back and forths of this. You can kind of see already, see how we have this cute little pocket, the turn that's happening, we're turning the heel here, and it creates this cute little pocket. And also is the thing that, you know, tends to scare people away from wanting to knit socks. And it's really not that tricky. You're doing it right now. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get to the end. And you know what, I'll show you what I mean by the end. So when you get to the end of these, like when you run out of these stitches, that's when your heel is fully turned and you're done, you're ready for the next step. So I'll come back when I run out of those stitches. Almost there, not quite at the end, but here I've got three stitches left on my left hand needle and one is before the gap. So I'm going to, again, slip, slip, knit those two stitches and then I'm gonna knit one more and then turn it around. And then see, I don't have the same gap. When you look at it again on this side, I don't have that same gap. So that was the last on this side. Now I'm going to turn it over. I do have the gap on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and purl, like slip the first one, purl across these, purl those two together and purl that. And then I've turned the heel. This is what this particular heel turn looks like. Different methods give you a different look. I just find this to be nice and snug, easy to learn, easy to do. So yeah, then you've turned your heel. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up and then we can move on. I've got my last three stitches on the side. I'm gonna purl these two together. Purl this last one, and there we go. We've turned the heel. 
How cute, cute little pocket. So now the next thing that we want to do is pick up the gusset stitches.